Yeah. So they're the Pistons. I, I reported earlier that the Pistons were before Monty Williams was fired. The Pistons were going at were narrowing down their coaching search earlier in May to Kevin Ollie, Deron Collins, and Charles Lee. Then it went quiet. Monty Williams got fired. Then we found out that Monty Williams last week had declined an offer to coach the Pistons, and he had been telling all teams that reached out to him that he was planning to take the year off as he has $20 million coming his way over the next three years from the Phoenix Suns still. However, news has came out and said that the other day, backed up the Brinks. They're going to back up the Brinks truck for him. Yeah, but the thing is, is that we heard the other day that Kevin Ollie and the Charles Lee were the finalists. But today we find out that they're going to make one last run at Monty Williams, offering him over ten million dollars a year to be their new head coach. And if Monty Williams again declines the offer, they are going to extend an olive branch and hopefully Charles Lee. Charles Lee's the guy. Charles so Lee's Charles the guy. Charles Lee's the backup plan of Monty Williams. Charles Lee's the guy for this job because I Monty, wanted Kevin Ollie Loki. I love Kevin Ollie, and I he, wanted him to finally get unblackballed. He, he got blackballed from college because you for know, no reason. It, they it was, know reason. they it was they tried to make him the fall guy to they tried to make him the fall guy for for like you know like the minute the misconduct of the administration at UConn went far beyond Kevin Ollie. But they tried to make him the fall guy, and then they tried to cheat him out of the, the school. Tried to cheat him out of his payments, like what KU did with David Beatty, and what St. John's is doing with their coach that they fired for Rick wow. Pitino, because they're trying to say he he got fired for before cause, which means he won't get his buyout. So they tried to do that. Kevin Ball has been blackballed really ever since. Um, I had to coach a fucking minor league to get back. Yeah, there. Kevin Ollie's been blackballed ever since. Startup minor league. Yeah. Um, the Charles Lee is the guy. Monty Williams is not taking 40 this. under 40. Monty Williams is not taking this job. He's not. He's not. He's not taking this job. They're going to do what they can to try to get back up the Brinks Julian truck. Julian Phillips is keeping his name in the draft. Julian Phillips is keeping his name in the draft. That that's was a guy the Pistons could go after. That's That was a guy that I thought was going to be on the very fence until the very end about keeping his name in the draft or not. Because, like, he could gain a lot. But he's one of the guys who I thought had the most to gain by coming back. But he also, like had a good enough stock that he could just stay now you know yeah no completely. because like he could have been a first round pick if he came back and everything and the shooting worked out because everything else is there i love julian phillips i'm a huge fan of his really nice guy good head on his shoulder yeah i would love the pistons need wings he'd be a good he guy he is a but... great defense first wing playing at rick playing under rick barnes tennessee you know that's going to be there but back to the pistons yeah i like charles lee young guy charles lee's the guy because He's monty like williams isn't taking old. this job he's worked his way up with mike budenholzer he was almost a coach last offseason. Yes. I, I think, again, a little biasy with the Kevin Ollie thing. I just wanted him to get another chance. Same. I love Kevin I didn't Ollie. Think that, I, I didn't, I didn't know if he would be a great call, uh, NBA coach. But I'd be he'd like, be he'd be more be, he'd be a better NBA coach than most college guys because he played ten plus years in the league and mentored Kevin Durant. Yeah, LeBron James. But yes. what I'm gonna say is I thought he'd be the guy that would help this team get ready to be a playoff team. Then they'd get like an established coach after a few seasons. Then he'd finally get a shot to go back to college. Yeah, that's I how think. I thought we'd play out for Kevin Ollie, and I was. But happy. it is what it is. He's probably not going to get the job. Charles Lee is probably going to be the guy, which I think is a good hire for the Pistons. I think they needed it. But Monty's not taking this job. The Pistons should should honestly. I'm surprised they're even trying to get Monty again. I, I don't really know why. I'd honestly, if I was the Pistons, I would have just after Monty said no the first time, just be like, nope. We're going to get Charles Lee because I don't care how good of a coach you think Monty Williams is. This team is not going to win right away next year. So No, completely. And why would you pay Why would you pay a shit ton of money to a guy and back up the brink strike to a guy that's not going to win right away anyway? So it, 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 the Pistons I also re- think if a guy's already declined the offer, why are you still chasing Why are you that? still chasing after him? He, he doesn't want to go there. No, he said no. He doesn't want to coach for your shit team. It's not that he wants to take the year off. Because I still think he wants to. I still think he wants to coach. I just don't think he wants to coach for the shitty Pistons. I think he wants to coach a better job. <laughs> so, like, I also think he he might be the guy who wants this Quinn Snyder treatment. Yeah, but I don't know. Has he earned that? Kind of. Yeah, back to back coach of the year. Has Quinn Snyder even earned the Quinn Snyder treatment? Yeah. Come on, he's like arguably one of the greatest regular season coaches in the last decade. Has he won anything? They, they they blew a twenty five point lead in uh, when they had a three two series lead to a team that didn't have Paul George or Kawhi Leonard and Terrence Mann was cooking. You're an defense. evil person, you know that. I'm just I, I'm just shooting the shit. I'm playing devil's advocate. But but yeah, the point is the point is Charles uh, Lee. I think any of these final three coaches, <laughs> Charles Lee, Monty Williams, or Nicole Vucevic, are way better than 
Dwayne Kelly. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> I mean not Nicole, which was Charles Lee, Charles Kevin Lee, Ollie, and, Kevin Ollie. And, and Monty Williams are better than Dwayne Casey. Yeah. Oh, I agree. Dwayne, there's a reason why Dwayne Casey got removed from his job. He didn't remove. He, uh, they, he mutually, stepped, they mutually, they mutually step, moved him to, they into the front down office. They stepped down and Brad Stevens approach. They Alvin Gentry did. Yeah, that's probably a better comparison because Brad Stevens kind of like big. Danny Ames just got fired and then they, Brad Stevens was given the job. Like Brad Stevens got promoted. He didn't get removed. <laughs> my my favorite was that uh, Brad Stevens, what do you call it? Was like everyone was like he's gonna get fired it literally it, sounded... it literally it was like he's gonna get fired it's like oh danny ainge has resigned and stepped down as celtics president and now brad stevens has taken over that was wild that was a wild turn of events who that, would have thought that is not what i expected and then they brought in Ime udoka and then we all saw how that worked out i know and oh, dude i look at this and I, I hope they get it right the pistons are a good basketball city and this team deserves better. The city deserves better. The fans deserve better. This team has been through so much in the past, like, 10-plus years since 2010. They have been fucking awful forever. This team deserves more, and this city deserves more. So I really hope the Pistons get it right. They got fucked. They can't catch a break. They don't even get the number one pick when they had the best chance to get it. So, like, they just can't catch a fucking break. I really hope that the Pistons get it together, but also this is how you start. We all knew it was going to be Victor Wembanyama. The more you think about it, guess what are the number one team in France and the number one team in South America? Joel's jersey sold. What? The San Antonio Spurs. They're like the. Well, most... we all knew it was going to be the Spurs, but like it doesn't mean that like. For months, I had been saying as a guy. That yeah, like the we Spurs, all knew it was going to be the Spurs. It just was perfect. 